Welcome, my name is Dorota Trapp. I'm a nutritionist. In this video, I would like to show you how to cook a basic fish stock. From a therapeutic point of view, fish stock might not be as potent as beef or chicken stock when you are looking at gut healing potency. However, it is a good alternative for all of you who for some reason cannot eat beef, chicken, lamb or pork. This is high in calcium stock. It, is still, it still has reasonable amounts of collagen. You are always welcome to add extra collagen to the dish to make it more therapeutic. It is best to use medium-sized fish and the cooking time is relatively shorter. Use only fresh bones because all bones will taste really fishy. All the white fish such as snapper, blue eye, rockling, King George whitening, flattened, um, etc. are best to use and the size of the fish does not really matter. Salmon and trout bones cook thin, cloudy, blunt testing stock, which might origin from the farming methods. Strong testing fish such as travery or sardines cook as a stock that will have distinctive flavor of this fish. Whatever fish bones you use, wash them very well. Gills need to be removed as they are bitter testing and some people also remove the eyes. You can only cook fish stock for 30 minutes. Longer cooking will make it cloudy with a soapy flavor, unlike meat stocks, which improve with longer cooking times. Because of its short cooking time, you have to slice the vegetables finely so they will release all its flavor and minerals into the stock. So, let's get started. I've got here about two kilos, if not more, of fish bones with the head, eyes removed, and my vegetables are already pre-chopped. Pre, um, so I've got the standard carrot, celery, onions, leek, uh, garlic, and some parsley. We also will use some white wine, and you want to use dried white wine, about a half a bottle. This will, it's a bit acidic, so this will help to pull the calcium out of the bones, which makes the stock being more therapeutic. It'll have more calcium. So I'll transfer the fish into the pot. And just be careful not to injure yourself. They can be quite, the bones can be quite dangerous for your hands if you hold it wrongly. Pretty much it. Hold on. Now, put the water through, cover it with water, and you can see that I have a big pot, and that's correct. You can cook quite a lot of stock out of two kilos of fish bones. You can add your vegetables right away. So I'm adding my onions and a leek and some carrots and celery and garlic. Add some more water till you cover the bones properly. And you can add some peppercorns and salt. I use Himalayan salt. It's a quite quick process when you really think about cooking stocks. When I, when I cook the bone broth, it takes me 24 hours and this is only 30 minutes. So that's great. Add your white wine and some parsley. There you go, this is set. Bring it to the boil and cook it for 30 minutes and it's ready. So, let's begin. So, there you go. 
our fish stock is ready. It has taken 30 minutes. Let's have a look at it. Mm. Smells wonderful and it's nice and clean. So it worked very well. So now what I, what I would do, I'm plating it for you, but what I would do, I would remove the bones and throw them out and bottle your fish stock. And you can either put it in a fridge or you can put it in a container. So they ideally stainless, stainless steel containers and freeze it down. And you can refreeze it, whatever you need it. When you cook with it, you can cook soups with this, add it to sauces or just have it by itself. There you go, it's amazing. For what it is, we add some parsley, a bit of a pepper and salt to the test. And it's done, voila.